here we will we'll add a, another request that will be our post request and for uh, this post request will come from this this client page this is the post request method this form let's do it router dot post and the URL is add remember we have set the URL in the post request that is action URL is add that means we are going to add something to the database that means we are going to save data to the database okay now let's make a callback function response next and this callback function is an arrow function what input a user enter we can access that from the server const name is equal request dot body dot name const layer c is equal request dot body dot layers const coach is equal request dot body dot coach open home dot ejs from views folder change the uh, name attribute from here just write name this should be layers layers name the first field is name that means the club name second field is players players and third field is coach ch home.js file by using body parser just by writing request body dot name this name is getting from this home dot ejs this name in this input submit this type should be submit submit search for body body parser here it is npm js body parser you need to install body parser if you haven't installed it just press ctrl c close npm install body parser okay it's installed successfully open your code editor here make sure you included body parser just write const body parser make sure the spelling is same as mine require body parser once again go to body parser uh, npm js website from here you can see the example you just need to copy this two line app.use okay the, the copy this two line and paste it here below this static file you can see the static file setup we set up a folder of public okay save it okay once again run your application just write node mon press enter and go to your website local local host 8000 from here just enter some input this time i'm going to input enter your club name fc barcelona players will be messi suarez tembele and coach is valverde save it this time you see this is running nothing is happening there is nothing is error about it when you open your console you can see this all of the output is printing here this is done now 
we need to save this data to our database uh, you need to firstly import your mongoose models here we made our model so you, you, you can see this module ex exported and it is it's make a collection of club and it's added a s i previously said that now this time we are going to use our model we have created inside this model club okay we have in we have included a line we imported models from this club const ucl club is equal new club here we are going to making our here we are going to making our record according to our schema just at first just write name name will be this name this name just paste it here okay when you have both things same at the left side that is variable the variable is same as this right hand side this okay so what you can do you can write shortly only once okay this is same thing as the previous one okay players coach coach save it now give a semicolon this is not necessary as you know ecl group dot save now this is the function we are going to need okay now we need a callback function just write the function e double r if there is any error what it it is going to say just log it out else else that mean everything is going right so what it is going to print control c up button not one and enter this time it's saying the app is running successfully and MongoDB connection has been made successfully. Okay. Now once again reload the home page that is localhost 8000. From here we are going to save data PSG Neymar Mbappe Kavani Thomas. Save it. What it is saying? The data is recorded successfully, but what we want is if the record is the record has been successfully made then what we are going to do res redirect we are going to redirect to our home page that means it it won't it won't load more okay you can see this is still loading but nothing is happening it's saying site cannot be reached but when we are making this it won't show okay i think you got it now one thing we can do is we can write these three lines shortly in online how we can do this just write const name uh, name players coach is equal request body okay now comment this three line out okay this is same as this line okay open your mongodb compress here you can see uh, the collection has been made that is clubs okay inside club there is two record if you can't connect to mongodb compress then how, what you need to do just Click on this connect, connect to 
here paste the connection string the connection connection string will be mongodb colon double forward slash uh, local host 27017 this is the local host okay from here this is the database we need and now we need to display those data to our database you can see uh, we have say PSG and Barcelona but this time it's showing brand Munich so we need to dynamically pin this those two in here okay so open your home.ejs from here you can see this table I made uh, at first let's change the edit button just right menu go to icon find icon where it is here it is icon search for icon edit edit outline i'll copy it outline here just write a dot ui dot green dot button press tab in here paste your paste what you have copied from semantic ui website save it and delete this delete a dot ui dot red button let's make it purple uh, little bit more sensible to me button press tab inside this a tag i dot minus icon okay save it make sure the console is running and open your browser once again reload the page you can see the button has been changed but <laughs> I made a big mistake here just cut this line okay cut this two line control x now press control z few times control z until you got your previous text okay here it is now paste it in the place of edit and delete this is table row and this is table header okay we we change table header now this time we are going to change the right one uh, select on and press ctrl d it will select the next ta's change ta's to td save it once again reload the page you can see this time it is working perfectly okay now we are going to print this three text dynamically so what we are going to do here in home.js just write club dot find this is a method okay here we need a callback function just uh, write you need to write the condition e double r comma docs okay this is a callback function callback arrow function uh, I, I am making this okay cut it cut this render and paste it inside this point okay here it is in after this home we are rendering this home.ejs 
uh, this is uh, by default this added a extension of EJS that is we made here okay we are going to print the text from database to our EJS file okay let's make a curly braces here just write teams colon dogs now let's make it clubs that mean we are making a variable and we are assigning all the value from this club this club docs that mean database we are uh, defining all the value inside our club variable okay class variable now go to a ejs file before that let me make an error handling just write catch error now go to home.ejs from here we what we are going to do just search for ejs you can see this is how you can uh, output all of the files just let me copy it and paste it uh, below here below this tr okay uh, let me make it clubs remember our uh, our variable is clubs okay let me make it arrow function because we are using modern javascript okay in this line we are going to print something dynamically just write club club dot what we want at first row we want uh, name that is team name okay just write name it should be inside uh, inside this tr and td just write tr press tab tt press tab this text should be inside this td okay let me alignment properly copy this line paste it below two more time just replace this two line at last two okay change it name to players uh, name to coach and let me remove this line oh, okay save it once again once again reload the page it should work You see, we save data that is PSG and Barcelona team information and we can display our data.